Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, so welcome to Fresh Off The Hook Tuesday. It has been a while, it feels like ages since I've sat in front of a camera and done this. And what have I been doing? Um, working, <laughs> flat out. I move, from, I move to a different office in about a week and a half, literally a week and a half. So I'm just running around like a headless chicken trying to tie up all my loose ends before... Um, before I'm actually due to start at my new place which is actually my old place because I was there before um, but anyway change is good so we'll see what happens should be good anyway um, there's that uh, last time we well, last time I was on here I said um, I was doing summer hats I am all summer hatted out I've done loads of hats um, it was for a lady I work with a friend of mine who wants um, different summer hats with matching detachable bows so she can mix and match and I've done lots she took about eight of them I've got one that she didn't take because she wanted a darker purple so I'm gonna do a darker colour to this one. She also wants a brown and a dark grey, so I'm working on those. On top of the hats and the bows, she wants matching earrings for all of the hats too, so I've been doing that. Um, this was one of the first ones I did, but then realised it was a bit too bright for the hat, so I'm keeping these for myself. And I got her matched up with a deeper shade of red so these are going to be hers these need to be starched none of the ones that I'm going to show you are starched as yet these are but these aren't um, so they might look a little bit wonky but they'll be done in a couple of days um, I did a black one like these for her I added like a bead on top of there oh a bit of thread I did that for her and there's a blue pair that I did. There you go. Oh. And yellow. Yellow is yellow and yellow is bright. And so I thought, well, if you're going to be yellow and you're going to be bright, I might as well just make a statement. So I did it so it kind of looks, I hope, like the sun's a ray. So that's the yellow one, which may look a little bit wonky, but like I said, it needs to be starched. So, um, yeah, it should hopefully look like she's got the sun on her <laughs> so yeah I've got a couple more colours to do so I'm getting there um, what else have I done showed you this one and oh, I've done a little hat for a little girl I didn't do this detachable just because um, they said it could get lost so I just thought yep yeah, stick it on and yeah done that one that's about it that is it actually oh no I found the lady that I'm doing all those hats for she really likes gold so I've searched high and low and found this gold thread which is really nice and I worked up these earrings but I'm looking at them now and thinking it's just a bit too much it just looks a bit too psh out there a little bit gearish so I'm going to take these apart and um make it a little bit more understated but I do love it is a very nice um, gold colour and I showed her the threads before I put it on she was like oh I love gold so here we go that's that but I'm going to take it apart and make it a little bit less in your face so um, yeah that's what I've been doing and I'll show you the other bits that I'm working on now sometime later um, oh that's what I wanted to say something happened over the weekend that I need to share with you um, went to the seaside on Sunday and um, it was a trip so there was quite a few people and we were sitting in the coach took forever to get there he was driving so slow but um, there's a gentleman on the coach who had a little bit too much to drink not on the coach I must say it was he came like that and he was related to the person who did the trip so um, you kind of had to give him a little bit of leeway because it's like okay you're related to 
the organiser, so we'll just overlook that. But he was an older man. He was, I say older, he was 64. I don't really call that old. He's just getting into his old age. So he was an older, intoxicated gentleman. And um, in the, whilst on the coach, we're laughing, talking. My son's brought a pack of cards. So me and my other half were sitting there playing cards and things like that. And um, he, a little bit, yeah, about an hour and a half into, into the trip, and I'm thinking, are we ever going to get there? I reached into my bag, pulled out my wool and my hook, and I started crocheting. And Mr. Intoxicated decided to have a walk down the coach, and he saw me crocheting, and he looked at me and said, you knitting? <laughs> He's an older West Indian gentleman so he was like you knitting and I was like yeah and he rolled his eyes and then carried on so we get to the beach finally and I'm we got these little beach huts so I'm sitting there and I'm watching the kids playing in the sand and whatever I'm not getting in the water this is Britain and I don't care how hot it is the water is freezing it's like an Antarctica out there pins and needles in your feet it's freezing so there's no way I'm getting in the water might dip my toes but that's it so I'm sitting there enjoying myself on the side looking at the kids playing and whatever and after a while the crochet comes out again and so I'm crocheting away and Mr. Intoxicated comes back and he says to me you need to again and I was like yeah I thought I'm not even going to say it's crocheting because this ain't going to go nowhere. So I was like, yeah, I'm knitting again. You knit when you're at home? I was like, yeah. You knit when your husband home? I was like, yes, I do. And he goes, let me give you some advice. Don't knit when your husband home. I was like, right. when your husband home, you must give him your undivided attention. And I was like... I can kind of understand where you're coming from, but come on, it's crochet. If it was knitting and I'm sitting there going click, 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 and you're trying to have a conversation or watch TV, it could be annoying. But poor little unobtrusive, inobtrusive crochet, you know, that just minds its own business and just works silently. Don't blame the crochet. <laughs> anyway, that's my story. And I was just wondering if anyone else has had crochet you know, attacked like that. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Poor crochet, you know. Anyway, that's what happened to me on Sunday. And I thought I'd share it. Let me know if you've had any such relationship advice <laughs> like mine. Anyway, hope you have a great week and happy crocheting. I'll be back shortly with some new bits and have a great week. Bye. Hello, we have a visitor. I did. <laughs> this is a little one. Say hello. Hello. Okay, go put your pajamas on.